under the control of a vast and organized network of Luciferian occultists whose allegiance is to the ancient Babylonian pagan mystery religion. The demonic doctrine of this ancient satanic religion is cryptically encoded into virtually all popular culture media. It constitutes the deeper esoteric meaning behind most popular culture song lyrics and music video visuals. Its esoteric messages are boldly conveyed to the world in each Olympic ceremony and in many big-budget Hollywood films. This satanic religion guides the kings of the earth. They deliberate critical world crises under a painted image that exalts Lucifer as the spiritual savior of the world. There are three keys that you must know in order to decrypt the Luciferian occult. First, you must understand this diagram. This diagram represents a simplified depiction of the pagan occult Luciferian cosmology. It exposes the primary deities that are exalted in the ancient mysteries and reveals the supposed relation of humanity to these deities and their involvement in the supposed divine collective Luciferian ascension of the world and all within who have received Luciferian illumination and enlightenment. Second, you must understand how Luciferian occultists shroud or obfuscate the elements of this diagram behind a thousand aliases and metaphors that are used to conceal yet reveal their demonic doctrine. Third, you must understand the narrative. The Luciferian narrative consists of plausible fables that tie together the elements of this diagram and paint the sordid picture of the ancient Babylonian pagan mystery religion. Now, to recap and help commit this to memory, the three keys to discernment against the occult are the diagram, the aliases, and the narrative. Now, let's take a closer look at the diagram. This diagram is the key to understanding the esoteric demonic doctrine that is cryptically encoded within most popular culture media. You will find that it constitutes the deeper esoteric meaning behind most popular music lyrics, music video visuals, and motion picture movies. This diagram exposes the deep secret doctrine and agenda of the so-called Illuminati and other satanic secret societies such as the Jesuit Order, the Knights Templar, Freemasons, Rosicrucians, Druids, Kabbalists, Theosophists, and many other powerful organizations that reign with impunity within the hierarchy of Satan's fallen and profane earthly kingdom. This diagram provides the esoteric blueprint upon which virtually all false religions of the world are derived. The core esoteric theology of these false religions is simplified in this diagram. It can rightly be said that this mystery religion is currently the predominant religion in this world. Even so, most people do not even know that it exists. Key number two is the aliases. The second key for discernment against the occult involves an understanding that each component of the diagram is obfuscated in Luciferian popular culture media with a thousand aliases, symbols, and metaphors. Luciferians do not want you to perceive that they are imposing this demonic doctrine upon you without your consent. So they shroud each component of the diagram through the use of alias and metaphor. Once you understand that they are doing this, and once you acknowledge their aliases and metaphors, then and only then can you begin to see through the deception. 
Occultists use aliases, symbols, and metaphors to obfuscate the deeper esoteric meaning of their demonic popular culture media propaganda. Key number three is the narrative. The Holy Bible reveals how things started, where we came from, and where those in Christ are going. In similar fashion, the demonic doctrine of the Luciferian narrative describes the origin of the world, of mankind, and the deities that are said to interact with man. In exposing the Luciferian narrative, I will begin by revealing how the Luciferian narrative describes the past or the origin of the Luciferian cosmological picture that is depicted in this diagram. In this sequence, I will explain how we supposedly got to where we are and what deities are said to have been involved in the process. As this project continues, I will describe the present, which is the falling away, catabasis, and supposed Luciferian self-ascension. This pertains to what is supposedly happening now and what we are supposed to be doing according to the demonic doctrine. I will then describe the future, the apocalypse, as falsely interpreted by the Luciferian demonic doctrine, which describes the cataclysmic annihilation and supposed collective Luciferian ascension of the world. This sequence will explain what events are soon to befall the world, and how in the demonic doctrine it is said that the divine feminine goddess, mankind, and the unholy child or antichrist beast are said to effect this process of the collective Luciferian ascension of the world, to supposedly bring all illumined beings into oneness and unity with the cosmic god or sun god, Now let's take a deeper look at the origin of the world and mankind, according to the pagan occult Luciferian cosmology.